So today's video, we're gonna teach you how to repair your grout when it's chipping up. So we're making this video for everybody who's having issues with their floor tile, especially if you live in a house that's got wood floors, because wood floors have deflection when you walk and things separate and come undone. And if your tile isn't installed by a pro who knows what he's doing, you're probably gonna have problems. And that is probably true for 80% of the tile jobs out there on wood construction. I don't know why, but nobody wets the floors before they lay their cement on their tile. And as a result, most tile has pretty poor bond with their substrate. So you're gonna have this problem and I'm gonna show you how to fix it. First, you need to go to the store and buy one of these little bad boys. This is a simple grout remover tool, okay? I think they're $15 at the Home Depot, not a big deal. Anyway, the idea here is this goes in the grout line and you just scratch out the surface of the grout, all right? Nice and simple. When you get near a corner, Stop pushing, start near the corner and push away from the corner or pull from the corner, okay? The idea is if you're going to clean this way, you don't want to push through and chip your tile. All right, so most floors have got a sanded grout, just like this one. I'm assuming. But I have seen lots of unsanded grout used on floors for people that like the little narrow grout lines. And it's wrong because there's special grout designed for really small grout lines of 1 16th of an inch and it's not unsanded grout. That's for another video. Once you've got it all scratched out, so what you're going to have is you're going to have this V groove in your grout line. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the local tile store we're gonna pick up some of this. Now, you're gonna have different brands all over the country, all over the world. Epoxy grout is not new in the market. Every manufacturer of grout in the world will carry an epoxy line. So don't worry about shopping for the specifics. Although I think this might be available on Amazon. If it is, we'll have it in the link below. So that's just a little bit of movement. But you'll see, if you don't have a good bond, that little bit of movement is all it takes to chip up all the grout. Just the simple fact that that exists next to the vanity means this whole floor is in need of treatment because this floor was not laid by someone who was following my video instruction. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just give it a quick vacuum, a quick little wash so that the old grout is wet. And then we're gonna mix up our epoxy grout according to the instructions. I'm gonna show you industry secrets to installing it and wiping it off so you don't get that sticky haze left over. So if you've never used epoxy grout before, it's um, smelly, it's fast acting, it's difficult to work with, traditionally speaking. But I've got a secret here that's gonna save you a lot of time and energy. Let's follow the instructions first that are on the package. Uh, it's a two part system, okay? So what you do is you pour out the container and then leave the lid on upside down so the rest of the contents of this jug can get, collect near the bottom. And then we're gonna just mix it together. Now it's a small batch, so doing a mechanical mixing is really difficult. So I just use my little red bar and I'll just blend it in. The goal here is to get it consistent color, All right? And that is how you are to gauge if it's mixed thoroughly. You wanna be able to get to the bottom, turn it over and scrape off the sides. Whew. Loving the aroma. <laughs> All right. Now that's a consistent color. Now we're going to open this up and get rid of the rest of the... There we go. That is the secret to a good epoxy job. If you don't do that and get all that content in there, it's not going to perform well for you. Now, a couple more quick stirs. Remember, the more you mix, the more air you put in here, the faster it sets, the less working time. That's why I like using small batches and using my flat bar to mix it. Do yourself a favor and clean this off as soon as you're done. Because ah, it cleans easily right away. 
Here we go. Not bad. Let me show you how to put the grout in. This is totally different to the grout that we do on shower walls. Here, you want to just press it in where you want it. Okay? And this is how most people grout. And you put it in and you scrape it off and you want to have really a lot of pressure. So you're going to put your grout flute like almost 90 degrees. Okay? And that's how you press that in. The problem with this system is and you can wash this right away. Use a different sponge. This is a grout sponge for epoxy. Okay? And lots of water is very good here. Okay? And I'll show you. And then you just dry it up with a little cloth. And that's done. Alright? The problem is when you're doing this over a large area, you can't focus that much time and attention. And the grout eventually gets sticky. So, this is where I'm going to show you a secret. Bum, bum, bum. Hmm? If you take your average dish detergent and you put it on the ground, up and around your grout line area, okay? Take your hand, smear that in. So you got a nice greasy floor now. Perfect. Now when you put your grout in, it'll wash off a lot easier. And you can do a much bigger section at a time. Okay. Now this works amazing if you have deflection in the floors. It's a really great grout for shower floors because epoxy can be part of the waterproofing system. Not too many people talk about that, but if you have mosaic tile on your shower floor and you use an epoxy grout, you just made your floor waterproof. So it can create a lot of solutions to a lot of problems that can occur over time. You can eliminate them from ever even starting. Here we go. Okay, let me just force that into the grout line. All right, now. I always use the float to take off the excess before you bring your sponge. Because this stuff is valuable. You don't want it going in the garbage if you don't need to. Okay. Now we just come back here with a wet sponge. Light pressure. Not too much. You don't want to dig it out of the grout hole. But, here we go. And then you can come back and run your sponge over your area, picking up all that extra moisture that's on the floor. And since you're riding over top of a surface of basically dish soap, you don't get that epoxy haze building up on the tile. Okay, there we go. Just like other floors, you drag it, you flip the sponge, and you drag the next spot. And that is done. Now, there's going to be a lot of people watching this going, I can't believe epoxy is that simple. <laughs> because you never use the soap. And that's the secret. Once you've used that, you'll never go back. Now, I'm going to finish doing the rest of this floor real quick. We're in the middle of a project trying to surprise somebody on the way home from a vacation. <laughs> if you like this kind of content and tricks, guys, give us a like and a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And by all means, ask questions about this and other sort of tile-related questions. Anything to do with home renovations, we'll answer those questions for you in the comments section down below. Whew, excuse me, I got a lot of work to do.